This video is going to focus on how to perform a transaction using the layaway or the installment option and then apply payments to it when it's due or when needed. To go to the transaction screen I can either go to file, new cell, or press F6 on my keyboard. At the transaction screen I could scan my item or I could search for an item. I am going to search for an item to sell and I'm going to sell this evening dance. I'm going to choose it and press tab to let all the information fill in and then I'm going to move to the client tab. Let's say I'm going to put some client information in and my client's already in the database. Uh, Merry Christmas is going to purchase this item. I'm going to press tab. The information is going to come in. Then I'm going to go to the payments tab. Merry Christmas wants to purchase this piece and it, she owes $15,008. I'm going to press tab and go to the pay type and I'm going to press L for layaway or I can press I for an installment. Or I could double click in the pay type and choose from here. So what is the difference between an installment and a layaway? Uh, well that's supposed to just, it, it, Masterpiece actually handles both of them the exact same way but it's for you to distinguish whether the customer has the item or not. So one way you could do is if stuff is on layaway, that means that the customer does not have the item and is just making payments. And maybe in installment, um, they have the item and they're just making payments on it. Uh, but that's up to you if you want to use one or the other or just stick with one. So I'm going to choose this layaway option. I'm going to double click on it and a calculator pops up. Let's say that uh, Merry Christmas wants to do monthly and she wants to do once a month for four months. And then I'm going, to, I'm going to pick monthly for payments, and I'm going to calculate. And the calculator calculates how much she's going to owe every month. Merry Christmas says, hey, let's lower it a little bit. So I'm going to go to 5 and then recalculate. That sounds good. So I'm going to press Done. Masterpiece will then calculate how much she owes once a month, every month. And then from here, I can go ahead and save it. So let's say I finish the transaction and I close it and I'm done. So let's say next month comes around and Merry Christmas comes back into the store and wishes to apply a payment to her piece or mails in a check or something. Um, I can actually see who owes what if I go to print cells and I can print out a layaway report to tell, to tell me who owes me what money and when. But let's say Merry Christmas comes in and she wants to apply some payments. I could do it a couple different ways. I could find a Merry Christmas in my contact section or I could go to my transactions here and find her that way. Client's going to be, I'll just type in something that matches. Um, so you can see here that uh, Merry Christmas has a few different transactions. Um, transaction 1012 is what I'm looking for so I'm going to double click in here. And the evening dance comes up. I'm going to go to the payments tab and I'm going to click edit and she's going to make a payment on the January 21st, 2008. So what I would do is I would go to the payment type and I would say how she's paying. Let's say she's paying me in cash. So I'm going to type in cash or I could double click here and pick the cash option. Then I'm going to press tab and I could either type in $3,001.60 or as a shortcut, I can just press the equal sign on my keyboard and Masterpiece will automatically fill in whatever's in the amount due section. Now notice that the payments is still zero. This is an important piece of Masterpiece. You have to press tab one time to lock it in place. So once I press tab, you can see that the payments went to $3,001.60. So that's pretty much it. I just hit save and I applied a cash payment to one of the layaway payments. So Let's say that Merry Christmas comes back next month and wants to make another payment. I'm going to find my transaction again. I'm going to click edit. Uh, let's say this time she's paying in a check. And this time she's going to pay a little bit more than $3,001.60. She's going to pay me $3,200. So when I press tab, now of course she paid more than what was due, so of course we owe her some money. If I was to try to save right now, Masterpiece would prompt me to, to give client change or a credit. So I'm going to press OK. And what I'm going to have to do is hit the Add Payment tab here. And it says I owe her $198 in change. So I say OK, and it's going to create another 
um, line here saying that I gave her change just to keep a record of stuff. So that's how I apply the other payment and I'm going to hit save. And that's how you apply stuff or payments to the layaway payments. If I wanted to give Merry Christmas a report of what she has paid in the past, I can just go to the client screen and search for Merry Christmas. I'm going to do it a quick way by clicking on the client tab and double clicking on Merry Christmas. And it takes me right to the contact details page. I'm going to click on the general tab here and I'm going to press this print statement button here. I'm going to have show items clicked. Uh, let's do show payments also. Heck, let's do show taxes too. Uh, I'm going to do this month or I can do this year or this day or um, I can double click on the calendar and pick a date. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and preview this just to see what it looks like. And it shows me what her history of payments are. So um, of course I did both of them today. So today she is, I mean of course if she applied the payment once a month it'll show the different dates but uh, it shows you she paid cash $3,001 and then she paid check $3,200 and so forth. I can go ahead and print this statement off to her and give her to her for her records. And that's the basics of applying um, installments and layaways.